All yours, Barbara. We can see your screen. Carry on. Right. So I decided to go um, with Germany to be different. <laughs> okay. Danke. Right. So I found out that the bond rating for Germany is triple A, which is very good. Okay. So, oops. Right, so Germany is a member of the G7, an international intergovernmental economic organization, one of IMF advanced economies. It has the largest economy in Europe. Yeah, the world's fourth, Yeah, the world's fourth largest economy by nominal GDP, the world's third largest exporter and importer of goods. Corruption is low. Unemployment is low, 3.2% as of January 2020, which was the fourth lowest in the EU. Inflation rate currently July is minus 0.1. Consumer price index um, 106.10. Interest rate 0.00. .00. So yeah. what I haven't done here is do the year on year comparison exactly exactly <laughs> but you can do that later but at least you've learned that point yes <laughs> yeah so you've, you've learned the point like i said that's the aim of this session is for all of us to learn so you now know that going back to your analysis where you get after the session is you now go and compare what's has been over the last three four five years and see whether it's been stable down up and then make a conclusion then but yeah well done carry on so the gross domestic product, which is the GDP expressed in dollars. Hmm. Um, Germany is one of the five leading countries in the world's GDP ranking. And that's um, the table there from 2019, 18, 17. So you can see the annual GDP and then you can see the growth. Yeah, it's been declining. It's been declining, yes. Yeah, okay. And then the main sectors, um, you have services, which is 69% of the GDP, and this information is from 2019. Mm -hmm. The production industry, which is 24.2%, construction, 5.6%, agriculture, 1%. So services is the main industry, really? Yes. Mm. Okay. So sector of interest, I decided to go with services because obviously it has the largest share. In exactly. The well done. GDP. Well done. Yeah. And then company of interest, I chose E.ON. E.ON because it's um, an energy company. It provides electricity. Everybody uses electricity. Yeah. So I thought, okay, let's start with E.ON. So oh, well done. <laughs> that, was actually, that was actually my electricity provider when I was based in UK. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but carry on. <laughs> so the market capital is... 22.07 sorry i just wanted to keep it further so if 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 you had invested in eon you'd have been taking my money yes <laughs> I'm a carrier. and i kind of put the stock symbol there just to remind myself when i go to hagrid yes. mm -hmm. so it, it promotes green electricity it operates in 30 countries which is good because yes. it's it spread you know the risk is low it's spread across different countries it's yeah. involved in the exploration exploration, production, transportation, and distribution of natural gas, which is also good. Very and it's good. involved in business services for finance, HR, and IT, so diversification. Well, and the dividend well, yield is 4.60%. Well, hold on, before you go, wait, wait, don't, don't, don't move yet. Yeah. Uh, don't move yet. Uh, because what you've done again shows the reason why it's important to find out about the company you want to invest in because you can see that as you're looking at this company even you yourself you're getting more encouraged mm -hmm. because you can see that it's eon is it's, it's a, number one is in the top industry in germany mm -hmm. and then number two you're going to say oh it's operates in 30 countries so it's multinational and for them to be making money from 30 countries that's a good sign that you see about the uh, gas, natural gas, you know, exploration, production, transport, and distribution, then to uh, finance, HR, and IT. So you can see this is a crucial information that begins to give you more and more confidence in that company because you now know what they do and who they are and what services provide. So this is, again, 
why all these little, little bits of information are there to begin to tell you whether, okay, this is a good company or mm, I'm not sure about this company. So well done, uh, Barbara. Carry on. Okay. So the PE ratio is 14, which is fair value. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm like, okay, still interested, but let's see what comes next. The earnings per share, that's a very interesting one. 2015, it was minus 3.6. Right? That was a sharp increase in yes. 2016. And then a rather sharp increase in 2017. <laughs> you sound worried. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Where was I in 2017? <laughs> but a decline in 2018 and a sharp decline in 2019 which is more than 50%. So yeah. at this point, I'm a bit worried. Okay, actually, let's, let's uh, okay, finish the presentation and, and I'm going to, we're going to do something together. Okay, so my summary is, Germany is a very strong economy. Mm -hmm. The sector I'm, I'm looking to invest in has the largest GDP share. Eon's yeah. primary business is in the generation and distribution of electricity that serves both domestic and corporate customers, which is very healthy because Good. it has a very strong customer base. Yeah. Eon operates in 30 countries, hence a large customer base with no economic risk. Yeah. Eon's other businesses include finance, HR, and IT. Companies' business is diversified, which is healthy. Very and then good. my decision, one to put on the watch list as the analysis of their stock does not give me much confidence at this stage to well invest done. in well the done. EPS increased significantly between 2015 to 2017, but a decline from 2018 and a further decline more than 50% in the years 2018 to 2019, from 149, whatever it is, to 68. Mm, that's the a stock, drop. Yeah, the stock is also not undervalued, underlined. Mm. It is fair value compounded with a decline in EPS. So well done. I'm not investing in this. <laughs> well done, important. well done, well done. That's, and that's another perfect conclusion. Again, I think everybody has been perfect so far. Everybody has been perfect because, again, you, 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 you did your analysis and then came to an objective conclusion that, uh, based on the information you gathered. And I think that's what I'm happy you're all doing because, like we said during the five weeks course, this is where people get scammed. This is where people get ripped off. This is where people put their money with so-called fund managers who just guess on your behalf and lose your money for you. But you can now see that you too can make these decisions. You too can do your own analysis and come to these conclusions for yourself. Why give you your money to somebody else to do it for you uh, and lose your money for you? <laughs> So again, so you've done it. But what I want to show you now, Barbara, let's go to the website. Mm -hmm. I think this is also with the previous uh, presenters too, because we said you can check out the company, but let's do it now with Barbara. Let's go and see why, what has happened to Inia here? Why all this sharp, sharp drops in value? So let's go to the website. You can bring up your website, your browser. Um. We're just going to... We're going to Google Eon. So just type in Eon. Oh, we can't see your screen. We can still see your presentation. Oh, how do I get out of that? <laughs> uh, you can share your whole screen. You can either stop sharing and then share your whole screen. So we can see, because you're probably just sharing your presentation alone. So the, the Zoom is just showing your presentation. It won't show any other screen. But if you share your whole screen, Okay, um, so say so you are screen sharing. Okay, stop share. Yeah, stop share, then choose, then click share again, mm -hmm. and then select the one that will share your whole screen that's showing you your browser. Um, well, advanced sharing options. Correct. It will probably be quicker. <laughs> Doc, Remy, if you share this. Okay, yeah. all right, no problem. Sorry. There's, no problem, no problem. Okay. All right. So uh, let me bring up the website. You can see my screen, Barbara. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. So 
let's do Eon. Eon. E dot on. Let me just make sure we put for the correct one. Eon. Okay. So with Eon, you just go to news. Mm -hmm. So like I said, that's the beauty about Google. So you just Google the company, if you find out what's going on with this company, what's happening. So you can go to the news just for more information and see what is happening. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see Eon UK to supply 3.3 .3 million customers with 100% renewable electricity. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this land secures major contract with Eon in Sweden. So, they all largely seem to be good news about Eon. <laughs> so, which is a good thing. Some here are not in English. So, these things are not in English. <laughs> but I'm just trying to show you that sometimes when you find information like that, like that, this can either encourage you to keep a close eye on the company or to just probably abandon it. But I like the information that they're getting here. It shows that, like you rightly said, you can now put it on your watch list, saying to yourself, that, okay, some good things seem to be happening. Let's see what happens in the next you know, quarter when they release their next uh, uh, news, uh, uh, next uh, financial data to mm -hmm. see if there's any improvement. Because you can see the general state of the company itself seems to be good. Uh, but for some reason, the profit has been going down. But like I said, this is what you just do, is just Google about the company and begin to find out a bit more up-to-date news about the company to see if it's something you just want to keep watching. Uh, uh, but like I said, this is actually a very good news. The fact that it says here, Eon UK to supply 3.3 million customers with 100% renewable electricity. And one of Britain's biggest green energy switches to date will come at no extra cost. Uh, so that's very good news. Okay. So that's, so, so like you said, with this sort of good news about the company, it shows in terms of their operations and their market share, they are doing positive things. They are, they are moving ahead. They are, I mean, 3.3 .3 million customers in UK, that's a good thing. And of course, everybody's going renewable. So they are keeping up to date. So yes, this would be a good one to keep an eye on and just keep watching. Because like you say, if you find over the next, as you now know, the company, they release the financial data every quarter. So you can check the next two quarters. And if you find that they're now becoming profitable and they become undervalued, you already have all the other information. You just jump in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well done.